Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. I've talked a lot about the dangers of ultra-processed foods, the extreme dangers. Millions of people across the Western world are having their metabolic health devastated by ultra-processed foods. And I believe ultimately this will bring entire nations down. It may even bring America down. And I take no pleasure in saying that, and I'm not exaggerating the situation. I do believe that we're at this critical point. Ultra-processed foods are absolutely terrible. And I've talked a lot. Obviously, this is my area of interest as an internal medicine doctor with a focus on lifestyle medicine and metabolic health. Those of you who watch my videos know all of the illnesses that are associated with ultra-processed food consumption, including obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, other inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. But one particular newer area of interest is what ultra-processed foods do to the brain and how they are associated with cognitive decline and dementia. Let me share with you this recent article. This was in JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association. Association between consumption of ultra-processed foods and cognitive decline. Question, is the consumption of ultra-processed foods associated with cognitive decline? I think you can all guess what the answer will be. Now, I'm going to go through the abstract in the interest of time, but I'm happy to share the full article with you. Although consumption of ultra-processed food has been linked to higher risk of cardiovascular disease, metabolic syndrome, and obesity, like I just mentioned, little is known about the association of consumption of ultra-processed foods with cognitive decline. And they wanted to investigate this, and they did the study in Brazil. This was a multi-center prospective cohort study with three waves, approximately four years apart from 2008 to 2017. Data were analyzed from December 2021 to May 2022. Participants were public servants aged between 35 to 74 years old, recruited in six Brazilian cities. Participants completed food questionnaires and those who had incomplete questionnaires were excluded, as were those with extremely low calorie intake or medication that could impact cognitive performance. So this is a cohort study where participants are followed for a set amount of time. It's not as good as a randomized control trial, which is really the gold standard. But certain issues are very difficult to investigate with randomized control trials. And food intake and association with illness is one such example. It would be very difficult to do an RCT, a randomized control trial. So we do a cohort study instead. They followed these people and they evaluated changes in cognitive performance over time by various tests, including immediate and delayed word recall, word recognition, verbal fluency tests. And here are the results. A total of 15,105 individuals were recruited and 4,330 were excluded, leaving 10,775 participants. The mean age was 51.6, 5,880 participants were women, 5,723 were white, and 6,106 had at least a college degree, a good percentage there with a college degree. And here's what they found. During a median follow-up of eight years, individuals with ultra-processed food consumption above the first quartile showed a 28% faster rate of global cognitive decline, 28% faster rate and a 25% faster rate of executive function decline compared with those in the first quartile. Those are astonishing numbers, truly astonishing differences there when you look at ultra-processed food consumption and cognitive decline. And here are the author's conclusions. A higher percentage of daily energy consumption of ultra-processed foods was associated with cognitive decline among adults from an ethnically diverse sample. These findings support current public health recommendations. If you ask me, the public health recommendations are nowhere near as strong as they should be. But the public health recommendations on limiting ultra-processed food consumption because of their potential harm to cognitive function. So, of course, as with any study, you always ask questions. Could there be confounding variables? socioeconomic factors, etc. Hopefully they've corrected for those a little bit. But of course, confounding factors will always be there. But a result like this does not surprise me in the least. Ultra-processed foods having a devastating impact on your cognitive function and ultimately increasing the risk of dementia. 
it's another reason to avoid them completely. What are ultra-processed foods? Well, in a nutshell, they are man-made fake foods that you get in packets, in packages, in tins, and they are loaded with artificial ingredients, things that we shouldn't be eating. Sugars and seed oils are two of the biggest offenders, but there are many other offenders as well. Fake ingredients that do nothing for our health and only put us at risk of future illnesses. Why do ultra-processed foods have this effect on us? I could talk for a very long time. I could give you lectures hours long on the science behind this, but let's keep it simple here. We are not built to consume ultra-processed foods. We are exactly the same genetically as our cavemen ancestors, and we are built to consume natural food products. And when you consume ultra-processed foods, it has a devastating effect on your hormonal system. Your enteroendocrine system gets completely thrown off course, your insulin levels shoot up, your gut microbiome, that's another huge topic, gets negatively affected. A calorie is not a calorie. For example, 100 calories of an avocado is not the same as 100 calories of an artificial man-made quote-unquote healthy cereal bar. They are not the same thing and that's why the calorie model is completely broken. But suffice to say, if you want to stay healthy, avoid ultra-processed foods at all costs, those man-made foods. And big food companies know this, they are complete scoundrels. They are a trillion dollar industry all over the world. They are devastating the metabolic health of populations, especially in Western countries, and they deliberately make the food hyper palatable. So it is addictive. That's why we really like the taste of it. But of course, that food will make us sick. And then the best friends of the big food industry, the big pharma industry, benefit from our sickness. It is a horrible, cruel, vicious circle. It is estimated right now that up to 70% of all calorie intake in the United States, both adults and children, is ultra-processed. This is an absolute disaster. How do we get away from this? Because there is a way out. It is to eat natural, fresh ingredients as close to their source as possible. To avoid anything which is man-made, which has a list of ingredients, especially ingredients that we've never heard of before, our bodies are simply not built for those products. And you can debate this till the end of time, to kingdom come, and things will not change. Your bodies are not built for ultra-processed foods. You must get back to eating real foods, what your grandparents used to eat. You don't have to go down this road of obesity, of other diseases, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and now cognitive decline. Do not underestimate how much your physical and mental health, don't forget that, your mental health as well, will improve if you say no to ultra-processed foods and get back to eating real foods. Seriously, folks, we have to get on top of this because ultimately, I am not exaggerating, this is going to bring the whole country down. We have to get back to basics, do what our bodies were built for, and eat the right foods again, and say no to those horrible, trashy, ultra-processed foods. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Hit the like button for more similar videos in the future. Also hit the bell button so you get notified when I make more videos. Do check out my online course, The Dr. Dand Method. That link is down below. Beat the establishment that makes you sick and do your best to stay away from mainstream medicine. Also follow me on my uncensored platform, Locals.com. That link is down below as well. Thanks everyone again and we will talk again very soon.